Hello, everyone. I am super excited for the unpublic episode of today. As you can see, it looks a little bit different, right? Because I'm ready to get something done and I'm so excited. So for those of you who are new to unpublic, as you know, Unpublic is a show that discovers details about a post made public by our guests. And to just give us a more detailed information into their unique experience as a public figure. So Unpublic has chosen two posts, randomly chosen two posts. The guests are not aware of what those posts are. And they will go ahead and ask a few questions on the post to our guests. And while they're asking questions, the guests will also be going through a, a general knowledge quiz game. So general knowledge quiz game. And then at the end, the guest has to guess correctly at least three of the four general knowledge quiz game. If they don't guess three of them correctly, they will have to share their most embarrassing moments in life. So we're really excited today. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys our guest of today. Here is her bio. Originally from the vibrant country of Brazil, this woman is a professional certified makeup artist covering all regions of Orlando, Miami, Florida, Los Angeles, California, and New York. During her 20 plus years of experience, she has worked for top brands such as Tommy Hilfiger's, Christian Dior, and MAC Cosmetics. Also, her work has been featured in top fashion shows, such as the New York Fashion Week, um, Mercedes Vans Fashion Week, and Saks Fifth Avenue. Also, she has done makeup for celebrities such as um, Alicia Keys, such as Britney Spears, such as the CEO of PepsiCo, India Nui, also actress Jenny McCarthy, also Brazilian TV host and former model Luciana Jimenez, also Trinidad Trinidad Trinidadian, if I should say that right, singer Denise Belfon, and Brazilian stars like Bella Falcone, Esther Campos, and much, much more. Ladies and gentlemen, pageants, weddings, you name it, photo shoots, classes, workshops, mentoring, community work, she's done it all and she's that amazing and she's done this face as well. And that's what you will do today. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you guys, Fabiana Dantas. Come on in, girl. Hello. <laughs> there she is, beautiful. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Thank you for being on the show. So guys, during the show, she will be answering questions while she does my makeup, which is really cool. That's why you're getting a before and you will get an after picture. Yes, well, okay? thank you. So Fabiana, why makeup of all things? Why? So makeup was something that I did as a hobby while okay. going to college to fill in my time, my spare time, and also make a little extra money. You know, mm. when you're going to college, you need money. Right. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. So I fell in love with makeup, and then I decided to stay um, in the beauty in the beauty industry. And mm. from there, I kind of just start taking classes and, um, you know, getting certifications, different certifications. And with MAC Cosmetics, I was, I was with them for almost 20 years. That was oh, the wow. longest that I've worked with in a company. Mm. And I've worked from a makeup artist to manager to assistant, assistant manager, manager. I did mentorship in Brazil with MAC Cosmetics for the stores in Brazil mm -hmm. uh, for MAC Cosmetics. Okay. Uh, and then once I got back and I... I got out of management because of something a little too much for me yeah. at one point. <laughs> and I just decided just to be an artist. So okay. that's what I was doing at Millennium Mall for a while. Oh, wow. Wow. And I remember Millennium Mall is exactly where we met. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
I went there for the first time to do uh, a tutorial because I, I had a photo shoot um, that I was going to go to for a conference. And I wanted kind of a tutorial of how to do my makeup. And I went there and they set me up. She was my instructor. Um, so it's been a while, I think like 2017 or something like that. A long yeah, time. A long time. Oh <laughs> you work with many different like skin types. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, people have like different things on their skin or so I wanted to know have you ever worked on a skin that was kind of challenging or maybe someone wanted you to cover a certain spot or things of that sort how do you deal with that with clients that are very like oversensitive about their skin I don't think that to me the most challenging skins Uh the most challenging skins are the ones that are uh, going through acid treatments like people Mm. that does acne treatments that use Accutane okay. or all the products that are very like that your skin pretty much is like falling apart, mm-hmm. disintegrating. Mm-hmm. So that's the most challenging because anything you put on your skin is kind of like you putting it on and it's peeling it off at the same time. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to covering like um, pigmentation or anything like that, that's easy. That's no problem. You know, okay. yeah. bruises, pigmentation, okay. right. that's easy. But when it's like the skin is falling apart to me that's the worst mm. <laughs> because there is nothing that you can do that gonna make that skin smooth and you know right yeah so definitely you were talking to me yeah. about like drinking water things of that sort so water. what are some things that ladies yeah. can do to help their skin a lot of water so yeah <laughs> very important and moisturize your skin in the morning and at night oh make sure don't forget right. your spf mm. because you ladies do also need SPF. Okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of times people think that women of color don't need SPF. They mm. do their skin are very sensitive. Mm-hmm. You know, they do need SPF as well. So they don't get those sunspots, those dark little black, you know, sunspots. Mm-hmm. It's very important. Yes, ladies, make sure you drink water and you stay moisturized. That's awesome. Yeah. I wanted to talk about the utensils you use because you probably use so many things right all throughout the 20 years yeah yes. so tell so, me about your experience <laughs> I own a lot of brushes probably hundreds of brushes oh wow and every day so, I have to wash them like probably about mm. like I don't know between 20 to 30 it depends how many people I do on the weekends of course I have to wash more because weekends I'm busier mm. but during the week usually like I have about 20 to 30 brushes to wash during the week oh wow. every day yes and I wash wow. every after every client, so no client get every client gets a a fresh set of brushes. Mm, that's Hygienic. important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today you gotta be very careful with the hygiene and even right. the things that we put on our client's face. Mm-hmm. That's very important, and I think also like you know not brushing not keeping your utensils nice and clean also can then create those issues in the, the skin yeah yeah as a well. lot of breakouts you can get a right. lot of breakouts from dirty brushes yeah dirty sponges so the people mm. that like to use your sponges make sure you're washing them yeah beauty blenders. <laughs> <laughs> right exactly especially the blenders we always think yeah, you know it's just and most people keep those blenders in the bathroom, their brushes in the bathroom. It's a mm. ground for a lot of bacteria growth. So just make sure that you always wash your brushes. Since you're going to be the only person using the set of brushes, right. I would say once a week, give a mm. nice wash to your brushes. It's nice, you know? It keeps you from giving that, getting that those breakouts. <laughs> it's very true. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's go into our... Quiz game question, okay? Oh, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> okay, so our number one question, what is the largest ocean on Earth? Pacific Ocean? Pacific, huh? <laughs> Okay, we're going to see if you got it right at the end. <laughs> and then our next question is, what are the two countries that speak Portuguese within the African continent? Would be Angola and um, I think the other one that I just said. Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde e Angola. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
heard people so far. You gotta give me your little um, rating. What you think so far, okay? Is this my good side? This other one, maybe? <laughs> my baby. <laughs> your baby. So yeah, yeah, what was happening there? So that day was like, you know, days that I get home tired. Uh -huh. And then he come, I lay on a couch. Okay. I don't know if I was in the bed. I think I was in bed. Okay. And he comes and he lays right on my face, with his face right on my face. I'm like, oh, this is cute. And I'm trying to get a picture of the wrinkles. Oh. Um, he he's full of wrinkles, right? And he am I like, un like under his skin, like full, like no. Yeah. I was like, what, 10 years old, this picture probably? <laughs> so like no wrinkles, which is not the case right now, but it's okay. I'm working on it. <laughs> That's cute. I so love that. Like contrast of like, you know, human skin, like yeah. a dog, like full of wrinkles. Right. And I love his coloring too. I love that because you were saying, you know, we all wake up and we look at the mirror like, oh, what is that? What yeah. is this? You know? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you don't always wake up like this. <laughs> that, that's one of my favorite pieces of him with me. Look at this lady. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, <more. laughs> How do you say it in Portuguese? What? This gives me like Excuse how do you me? say like. Ah, licença, por favor. Licença, por favor. <laughs> I'm here. I love it, guys. I love it. <laughs> okay, so are you ready for our next quiz question? Yes. <laughs> okay. So what country has won the most World Cups? Of course, it's Brazil. Oh, okay. Hey, Pelé. Yeah, of course. Hello. <laughs> well, they don't win this World Cup, but it's okay. Right. They're working on it. They're working on it. Okay. Yeah, Argentina got it. That's okay. Right. Okay with it. No, hey. And then also, what is this next question as well? So, what is the person who was named in Forbes magazine the self-made billionaire for her cosmetic line, but then afterwards, eh, it wasn't so legit? Yes, that was Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> I well know Kylie Jenner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, the numbers weren't quite adding up, so I heard. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard. Too. Okay. <laughs> So I want you to go ahead and give an advice to three types of people. Okay. So you can either give to all three people or one of them. It depends on you, but there, there are three types of people I would say within your field. So this person is a person who's just starting in this industry, who's just beginning. They're very excited. You know, mm -hmm. they don't know everything yet. What is that one advice you would give them? I would say... My advice for them would be network. Network with a lot of people in your community, mm -hmm. um, photographers, um, just to start, you know, build, building up your portfolio, mm -hmm. invest in also knowledge. You know, mm -hmm. I always say classes, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> try to work with different skin textures, skin different, you know, skin mm -hmm. tones. That's very important. Um, and that, and be open, you know, be open to whatever, mm -hmm. whatever comes your way. If you don't know it, figure out and do <laughs> right, it. <Yes>. Right. <laughs> Very true. Okay. What about this person who is trying to reach a new level, like the next level of clientele for them? Like they've had these, you know, certain little ones, maybe family and friends, but now they're trying to reach more clients. What would you say? Um, I would say invest in a good marketing for mm. your, you know, marketing for your business, social media. Mm -hmm. Um, just you know, with your community, get involved with your community. Um, mm. I would say word of mouth is the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. the best marketing you can get nowadays with mm. um, services. If you provide any type of service, especially in the beauty industry with makeup and hair. Mm -hmm. Um, I think when somebody goes to you and they really like your service, they'll they'll tell like 10 people. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but also if they don't like, they'll tell like 20. 
Yeah. So you got to be very careful with that. Right. How you treat your clients, you know, mm-hmm. got to treat them very caring, like with kindness and, mm-hmm. and make sure that you deliver what they want. Right. Because when they're in your chair, it's all about them. It's not about you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and knowledge. I always take classes, travel for classes. Mm-hmm. Um, knowledge is power. Try to find out what's, who's the best mm-hmm. uh, in the field for you to take classes from the best. Mm-hmm. Very true. I like that. I like that. What about the person who feels like the industry is already saturated? Like there's so many makeup artists there. Like, why would I start? Why would I be a makeup artist? You need to find your niche. Mm, I like the that. niche yeah. in the industry. So yeah. there is a niche in the beauty industry as well. What's mm-hmm. your niche? Do you like to do bridal? Do you like to do beauty? Do you like to do mm-hmm. Um, like campaigns for magazines. Mm-hmm. Once you find the niche, you need to find out where the stepping stones you need to take to go to that, you know, to to offer service in the area. Right. You want to take classes. You want to be, you know, knowledge about that, and mm. you know, advertise for marketing for commercial photo shoot. You need to make sure that you you get in networking with photographers with uh, mm. pu- you know publishing comp- companies right uh you need to get your name out there yeah and the way that you can get your name out there is just you know work do your job and publish always publishing your, your work mm-hmm. tagging mm-hmm. Uh, now with social media you can tag different photographers you can tag like um companies that uh does you know publishing work that work for you know for major companies mm. um you can tag magazines um so yeah that's how people you know you never know who gonna open you you gonna click because a lot of times when you tag those people those very famous people or companies like that you don't know if they're gonna open sometimes they don't right. they get thousands of people sending them stuff <laughs> you know but that one post that you tag you tag them and they open it could yeah. be that post that are gonna get you the job. Exactly. You never so know. So you never know, you know, and with brides, you gotta get involved with, mm. you know, bridal um consultants, people mm. that are actually organize and plan, like planners. Mm-hmm. Um, and you really gotta do classes for bridal because there's different types of makeup. The bridal makeup is not the same makeup that you're gonna do for going out a night out. Mm. You know, there is different ways that you prep the skin, different things, different steps that you do. Mm. Um, and the same thing is for makeup that it goes on TV, you know, if you want to make up to a show on yeah. screen as well. Mm-hmm. Um, there are certain things you cannot do on makeup that shows for TV camera. Mm. Um, you cannot be too much glow, too much shine. You need to matte that down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because otherwise it'll reflect. Mm. Um, so yeah, so you really gotta make sure that you focus in whatever you want, take the classes, find out how to get there and go from there. And like network. That. Mm-hmm. That's important. You heard it, guys. Those network. are like key stuff. She's giving you all the juices. This lady, she knows. She's experienced. She's 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 had the customers. Still so Every right, day. she's still, still learning. Out and out, but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, interesting. 
Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. Come, come in. Amazing. Guys, look at the work she's done and look at herself, how beautiful she is. Always so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, but definitely, thank you so much for oh, coming on the show. It was a pleasure. Thank you for doing my makeup. It looks amazing. Doesn't she look beautiful? <laughs> it just enhanced her natural beauty, and that's what makeup should do. It should mm -hmm. not take away from your beauty, it should enhance the beauty. Right, very true. Definitely, but. Thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, she's she's gonna let you know how you can get in touch with her. How can people connect? How can people book you? So you can get in contact with me uh, through my social medias, uh, Makeup by Fabiana on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. I also have an email. It's Makeup by Fabiana at gmail dot com. Okay. And in the social media, you have all my contact information right there. Okay. Makeup by Fabiana. Awesome, awesome. Definitely follow her, guys. I'm going to show you some more of the great work she's done for me. This is amazing. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm super excited still of the work. Definitely, guys, thank you for watching. If you know of any other person you believe should be on Unpublic, let us know. Let me know. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on the next Unpublic episode. Bye! <laughs>